this side that you're opening up. So lean. So here and open. Let me show you from this way. He's getting to the front door bicep like this. Three, two, one, lean. And then you're doing it the other way. So you're going to lean that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wider. Hold on. Go into it again. Wider. Okay, relax. Do it, but you gotta keep this entire. Okay. Are you having trouble right yeah. now? Yeah. It looks like you're just bending. Do you have gas? Yeah. You have to go. go ahead. No, I don't need to go now. <laughs> I, can't, I can't just shit on demand. No, but is it, you have gas though. Yeah. Before. Yeah, but I can't just. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's all. I'll go when I need to go. Yeah. Oh, because if you do, you might shard. Yeah. It could happen. Well, let me know because if you need to take a break. Yeah. yeah we're yeah. gonna do we're gonna do the ab pose a few times. Yeah. And you might you might make you shit. Yeah, my potential go. Okay, yeah, it's cool. Just let me know. Because okay. it looked, at, from what I'm seeing right here, it looks like you're having a hard time. Uh -huh. And it, it looks to me as if it looked from the quarter turn. Uh -huh. Okay, so it looks like, right, just breathe normal. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's right here. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. You can see it. Just like you do your thing. Yeah. And you know me. I think this is my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where the shit is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's 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 go into the front relaxed again and do the front double bicep again. I'll call it. Mm -hmm. Do it when I call it. and count when I call it and then I'm going to see you go like that and I want when you do that though do the vacuum okay so you're doing like this okay so then all of a sudden take a breath so three two one and then boom okay do the vacuum okay I think it's going to look much better that way because your waist is much smaller when you're mm -hmm. like that okay front double bicep Yeah, can yeah. you can you bring the uh, ass back in more? Okay, let's do it again from the front double bicep. I know it's tiring, man. But yeah, we gotta that's do fine. We're gonna you're gonna count in your mind three, two, one. Okay, I want you to on the one. I want you to exhale uh -huh. or well, breathe on two because you're breathing anyway. So breathe. Then exhale on the one and then suck up on the on the zero or. You know, into the vacuum, and then like that. Okay, so you, it's like this. You're you're standing in front of the bicep. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Yep. <coughs> front double bicep. Good, but you didn't smile. You didn't smile on either one of them, but it was good. And that's what gets me upset is because you, you're doing everything right, but you're not smiling when you actually get it right. Uh -huh. So kids, <laughs> don't forget, when you do the mental checklist, the smile is part of it. Mm -hmm. We didn't include that in there, but now you need to include that as one of the steps in the mental checklist. The mental checklist is when you do the pose, you go through in your mind from the, once you're in the pose, you say, okay, legs are flexed, chest is right, arms are right, and then smile. From the bottom up and then once you smile you go back down so, are i still this am i still that am i still that and then make sure you smile so man, you go down, up smile down smile that way you're always smiling no matter what and then in this particular one there's an additional transition because now we, we have the transition walk on stage transition into the pose and transition out of the pose but there's also one more transition and that's adjusting poses mm -hmm. so when you do a front double bicep into this there's a transition and that transition has to be done with a smile and it has to be done with grace or it looks shaky. Okay. So when you're going from here into here, okay, you have to smile here. And then when you do this one, you have to blow out and then vacuum up and then still smile. Okay. Okay. Front to a bicep. And relaxed. 
That was good, man. That was good. <laughs> he learns so fast. I have to teach other people, man. It's more difficult, and I'm glad that you're paying attention to this. Everybody needs to pay attention to this when they're not big. You need to practice your posing from the beginning. When you start your bodybuilding, you have, if you're skinny and you have nothing in the mirror, you just worked out the very first time, you need to flex in the mirror and act like you've got muscles. Because if you don't, when you get bigger, you're gonna be all stupid looking on stage. If you know how to pose with no muscle, you'll know how to pose with muscle. You don't, if you have muscle, you don't know how to pose, you may never learn how to pose. You're just gonna be some big guy that doesn't have any control over himself. Paul Dillette, hmm. absolutely phenomenal, but he can't, he's shaking like this, he can't do a pose and, you know, did inject the Lasix too and he cramped up really bad on stage. <laughs> didn't do it right. <laughs> he didn't do it right. Okay, let's go into the side chest, the standing relax, the front one. Now this one I feel confident about. We worked really good on the side chest and we're gonna, it's, it's really good. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, smile. Side chest, either side. And relax. It's good. I can tell that there's, uh, it, you're having a hard time. Mm. And I can tell that, and you're shaking, which is good because you should be. But I need to know, this shaking to me looks like the potassium. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. because you didn't shake like no. that. All right, I'm only going to do a couple more poses and then we need to do some, I can tell by your reading too, we need to do Lasix mm -hmm. because it's getting time where it's, uh, we have to do it soon. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to do, um, we're going to finish off these poses. I'm not going to critique you mm -hmm. because I, if it's too, it's getting, you know what I mean? It's getting to the point where we got to get rid of mm -hmm. this. You're mm -hmm. not going to be able to, you're going to be shaking the whole time. Mm -hmm. This is from potassium loading. This is not because he's not conditioned. He's been posing and I haven't seen this yet. We've been waiting for this, which means that there's an excessive yeah. amount of potassium. It's like I just don't have control. That's exactly yeah. what you're supposed to be yeah. like. Remember I was telling you? So I'm not going to press it because this is when it's somewhat bordering on dangerous. It's not dangerous yet, but it's bordering on dangerous. So before it gets out of hand, a little bit more potassium as an insurance policy, 20 milligrams, two, ten, uh, two cc's, 10 milligrams each, one flush of Lasix, and afterward you'll feel really a lot better. You'll look a lot better, but you're still going to be flat, mm -hmm. and I'll fix that. Mm -hmm. But it's we have to do it a whole other way now because of things that happen. Okay, so back into the front, relaxed, and really, really quick, relax, really quick, um, just to make sure that we got the about face correctly. The best way to turn around is an about face, which means take one foot, the other foot, and then put it back here, and then spin around. Now, when we do this, if you notice, we didn't relax. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, your competitors, possibly will be like this and they'll say to face the rear and they'll Yeah. yeah. And they'll look shit. Right. right. And, yeah. if, and if they, that's you and they're like you're like this and they're like face the rear and you're like mm -hmm. boom. You know, well you didn't you didn't go down, mm -hmm. you didn't collapse yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see if you can do it without flexing. Without without mm -hmm. flexing, just do the about face. Okay. It's too it's too fast, you're too light on your feet. Mm -hmm. I know that <laughs> that sounds funny, but it, you're doing it a little bit almost as if it's dancing. And for this, no, not for this. It has to be a little bit more like it's military, but slowed down. Mm. Like really do it a little slower, a little bit, a little bit more graceful. Just like you know, make it even with your speed mm -hmm. if you can. You, once you get this, you'll be able to do it. Yeah, it's yeah. easy. But if you try to do it together first, it's too hard. That's too far back. That's it. And then that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Make sure that you stay within, the, yeah, a close mm -hmm. proximity to you know front and back. Try it again. Get your feet right. Your feet are a little bit wider than that in the front. That's it. Okay. Okay, good. Now let's try it with the flexed. Face the rear. Not bad. Not bad. We can work on that though. That's not bad. Now, let's do the face to the rear and keep your arms wide. Okay. Now, in this particular pose, if you stay wide, um, 
it's going to show there's no definition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go wide. Now find find it going back this way. So push 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 this part back like that, but find it with this. Yeah. So now a little bit more right here. Yeah. There you go. So now they're going to see all that, and that's what they need to see because they're looking for bumps and definitions and striations. And that looks much better than if you just go wide and it's smooth. Now go do, do it the other way so, so that you can see it. Okay, so that's the one way and then the other way. But, but do it wider that way. You gotta fight it. You have to flex this and this. So let me explain it to you really mm -hmm. quick. Okay, look. Um, turn around. See. When you stand, stand from behind me so that you can see it. When you, when you stand like this, okay? everything's wide. And if you stand like this, everything's crunched up, okay? So what you have to do is you have to stand like this and then go like that. Okay. You're pushing, you're pushing back as you're flexing out. You're, you're literally, you're, I'm flexing out, but I'm pushing back. So it's, and I, you gotta squeeze your boots. I didn't do all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little closer together in the feet, heels. Okay, good. Nope. Nope. You push it too far down. You were squeezing too far down. Go as wide as you can. Yeah. And now, yeah. There you go. That's better. And what about your hands? Can you push your hands back? No. Push your hands towards me, like them. Push them. Push them harder. Now, if you do that, this comes out. Okay. Okay, so look, look at this real quick. In a standing relaxed pose, most people aren't going to be able to show any lower back. Okay? Mm -hmm. If what makes the lower back come out is this. Yeah. Okay? Pushing, pushing shoulder blades, fighting it, and hands. So it's, see what I'm doing? Okay, and then when you stand relaxed, you want to be this way. So you want to be this way, flex wide, and then push back a little bit here and back a little bit here. So back here, here, and back here, and wide here. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Did you see what I was doing? Or? Yeah. Since I'm not huge. <laughs> Still pretty tall. There's a lot of hair back there. I'm actually five times leaner. <laughs> Good. There you go, push back. There you go, that's what's up. That's a hundred times better than before. I can't even tell you how much better. You just need to do it a little bit wider. You gotta do the same thing, but you gotta stay a little bit wider. That's it, that's it, that's it. You got it, you got it. And I'm, I'm not gonna push too hard because I know that the, your spine is, is curved a little mm -hmm. bit right here, but you, you've got to get the mind-body control with this and you have to be able to straighten out your spine some. And I'll work on I'll work on you with that later because we've got to get the you raised some potassium. Yeah, yeah. But you did it. Did you I feel, feel it? it? Yeah. Let's yeah. do it again. I like I like the fact that you you could feel this because you're gonna be doing everything else with your eyes closed next round. <laughs> Fun. A little wider. There you go. Okay, relax. This arm's this arm's too it's it's further away from the lat. Okay, so don't yeah, still Keep your triceps there. Okay, go ahead. There you go. Okay, good. And everybody else's back is not going to have that detail because they're going to be doing it like this and they're just going to look smooth. Um, same thing if you do the rear lat spread. If you do a rear lat spread, like like the example Sean Roden who spreads it really wide like the Cobra, it's great. You see the structure and the detail on the outside, but you don't see the definition in the back. So when you do the last spread and you spread it all the way out like that, you need to take your shoulder blades and just go back a little bit mm -hmm. up like that and pop it upright a little bit, and then all the detail comes out like it did just now. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so let's do the rear double bicep, and then I'm going to give you a break. So you're still facing the rear, and you rear relaxed, and you're going to have to hold that for a minute longer. I'm not going to make you do too much now, though. Pull it. Good. All this is gonna show. Okay, good. And you need that. Squeeze the glutes harder. Good, good, good. Rear double bicep. Spread it out. Uh uh. Relax. Okay. You're shaking, so we're gonna stop. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to practice it the wrong way when you're shaking. Okay. Go ahead and have some water, and let's just take.